Hello, everybody. Um, I'm here to present our mirror. Um, my name is Philip Marmot. I'm a Linux systems engineer at, at Finisci Group AG, uh, open source software service provider based in Switzerland. Um, we now maintain a mirror for something over a year, and uh, I want to show you some dot details of it. First, a short overview. Um, we are running science around June in 2015. Uh, we originally started with uh, mirroring Arch Linux packages and then added uh, big distributions later, like Debian, Ubuntu, something like that. Um, recently, about two or three weeks ago, we started to also mirror OpenSUSE. We have one of the smaller modules. Um, currently, there are five distributions and some other projects we mirror. Here you can see a list of uh, officially published mirrors. It's uh, Arch Linux, CentOS, Debian, OpenSUSE, Ubuntu, Dotep, and Epo. Um, they are different in size and how we mirror them, but I will get into this later. There are also some unofficial mirrors we provide. Um, they are used in projects for an uh, internal or customer project where they uh, have to create firewall rules and this is sometimes not an option because there are CDNs behind the wall mirroring infrastructure and to open the firewalls it would take some changes and time to make this. And uh, we also try to publish them after a short time if possible so they uh, are officially usable. Um, currently there are only Debian security and Node.js mirrored. Um, we've created a, a small landing page where we can find some information. I will show you this. It's this page here. Um, we have uh, created a little info symbol for each mirror where uh, the configuration details are explained and uh, where you can find links to more detailed information about the mirror. It's, uh, the same for all mirrors. Also presentation skills here. It's not working anymore, second please. I think I have to do it this way. So, okay. Um, to the deployment, we have uh, created an Ansible playbook where we can uh, Say we want to deploy one mirror with uh, Go access for statistics and something like that, so we are flexible. Um, originally, we created one role per single mirror, so uh, now it's getting bigger as there are more mirrors available, and uh, we are refactoring the whole role so uh, we can create a more generic one. And uh, as the scripts are mostly unified, it's easy, so they use rsync, and that's it. Um, we have also a role for the Nginx configuration, where we deploy the whole configuration. Um, some base packages where we install, uh, like rsync and vget, and uh, of course GoAxis, it's for monitoring the mirror. Um, currently there's some manual work involved, as we um, wrote this with Ansible 1.7, I think, and there was no blocking file available in point type of writing, so uh, we have to manually add the mirror location to the Antinix configuration. Um, some points about uh, the sync script, uh, the projects are mirrored differently. 
Um, on, for example, Fedora Apple uses a report script, which has to be called after each mirror run. Um, Ubuntu, for example, has a two-stage two sync, where uh, we first sync the package and then the index files. Debian, we have to create a trace file after each run, so uh, they can trace us. <laughs> um, of course, almost each distribution already has a solution available how to mirror their distribution. Um, for Debian, for example, this was a, a really huge script, and we uh, decided to not use it and instead use our run, own one. Um, of course, the Ansible playbook is available at GitHub. The link is here. So for statistics and monitoring, we use Cacti to monitor um, traffic and disk usage, for example, and some other stuff. Um, I will show you a graph of this. There's our mirror. As we can see, um, each one we've added a new mirror the traffic goes a little bit up, then settles, and uh, here we can see another mirror was added, and recently we've also added OpenSUSE, and this increased it also a bit. Um, for a total, we uh, served in the last year uh, 56 terabytes of traffic outbound, and uh, normally there's about uh, 25 megabits of traffic going through. Currently, in a shorter um, graph, uh, on a two-hourly basis, there's about 40 megabits of traffic outgoing. So for the Go Access, this is a web log analyzer I've once found on GitHub. Um, I thought this was very interesting for uh, monitoring the requests we're getting. Um, we run this daily per cron job. We had also to build our own package so we can use a B3 for um, persistent data. The Go Access is available at goaccess.io. This is a short screenshot. I also have this in the browser where we can see the requests more in detail. So there we have a, a total request counter. It's just taken from the Nginx logs. Um, we have graphs for the unique visitors per day, of course, for the requested files. And uh, we can also see the bandwidth. This isn't totally up to date with the Cacti graph, as uh, GoAccess once had a new version where we had to dump the database and so there are some requests missing. About the monitoring, uh, we've uh, built a, a small function into our sync scripts, which writes a status file in JSON format, as we can see here. This gets uh, the total size of the mirror when the mirror was last synced and what the status was of the sync job. The, this stats file is also used on the landing page where we display the size and the last sync time. We also have a, a monitoring check set up which gets the status of the sync and uh, alerts us if something gone wrong or when there was no sync possible at that time. So we can investigate that. So to our motivation and the problems we encountered, encountered um, the motivation was we uh, had storage and bandwidth available. We used an old server where we elsewhere didn't use. Um, of course, we wanted faster package downloads in Switzerland. <laughs> um, and sometimes for customers, it's hard to get firewall rules because there are CDNs behind. This was also a motivation of us. And uh, we only have one IP, so it's easy to get a firewall rule for this. 
um, some problems we had uh, from a bigger distribution, orange colored, no names. Um, the mirror was long time not accepted, the uh, issue laid around, and uh, we asked multiple times to, to publish the mirror, but hadn't received an answer, so uh, we waited and finally the mirror was accepted. Um, we also had a, a problem with an outdated WeChat, WeChat version, where um, the problem is WeChat runs in a memory leak and is di uh, die. So um, Node.js unfortunately has no rsync available and we have to use WeChat. So that's some problems. Are there any questions? Okay. So thank you for listening and have a nice Sunday.